Well, remember when I said that the sensor was all good in that? Yeah, I was, I was completely wrong. What's up guys, welcome back to the Taco Rick channel. As you guys probably can tell by the title, we're gonna be putting a Toyota Pro Grill on the Tacoma. So on my brand new 2020 Tacoma, one thing I don't like about the 2020s is this new grill here. It, I just, I don't like it. On my previous 2018 Tacoma TRD Off-Road, I really kind of liked that grill. It was very aggressive looking. This one just, I don't like it and it just doesn't fit the theme because it's like a gray metallic color to it. The theme I'm going for is literally just the paint color and then everything else is black. So in combination with the grill being kind of weird, I don't like the big chrome Toyota logo. So today we got the Tacoma Pro Grill here ready for this install. Obviously I'll link the one that I have in the description down below if you guys would like to pick it up as well. But some things are gonna be a little bit interesting with this install. So first thing, I gotta figure out how you mount these Toyota logos inside of this because there's absolutely no instructions that came with this at all. Literally, this came in the box and these screws right here, which I don't know what they're for either. And then the even more challenging piece will be this garnish right here. So this is a like glass garnish piece that's used for the uh, front sensor, the radar sensor that's behind the Toyota badge. We somehow have to mount it onto this and put it into the grill. So we're gonna get started by tearing apart the front of the truck and getting the old grill out. So to start off, we have two 10 millimeter bolts we gotta take off right here and right here. And then we have six clips. So there is one right here, one right here, and then, and then down here, there's one here, here, and then on the other side, there are another two found right over here and right over here. So you gotta take the bottom four pins out, the top two pins out, and the two 10 millimeter bolts, and this all should pop off. One last thing before I move any further, if you have a 2018 or newer Tacoma, you have to disconnect the front sensor right here that is done right here with this clip so you take it off by putting pressure right here looks like yeah i need two hands to take that off so i'm going to take that clip off now if my memory serves me correct i should just be able to pull out on this on this all right, so we are repurposing my DJ table here as a workstation. Do not worry, all of my DJ friends. Uh, my Rain 12s and S9s are actually all up in my garage. So this is just sitting on the tabletop. But using this because we have the blanket down, so that way it protects from any scratches that we might do to this front piece. So what we need to do is take the plastic part off here, the like silver dark metallic off of the surround. I've done this before on the 2018 and also we'll be taking the sensor off as well because we have to remove this and transplant it onto the pro grill. But there are a ton, and I can't stress this enough, there are a ton of these screws right here. So you look for all these Phillips screws that you have around the surround and then also all of these clips. So all these plastic clips around the outside going all the way around, not these far out ones, but the inside ones, all of these have to come out and then we will be able to separate this piece from the surround. So I'm going to get started on that. So you guys up on a time lapse, get all that off and then we'll move on to taking our sensor off so that we can transplant it onto the new grill with the new garnish and all that. So as you see, I was able to separate it. And uh, if you're wondering how many screws there are, there are eight in total. You have one in the center on both sides, on the top and on the bottom. And then you have three along the sides. And then clip wise, you got two on the top. I have this upside down. On the bottom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So you do all those, all six on the bottom, the two on the top, your eight screws, and it pops off. One additional clip though I was not expecting is this clip right here that actually was mounted up inside. So you had to separate this and then you can take this clip out from the inside. So this clip was at the top, specifically right here. So once you pull that out, you can actually access the clip to be able to push it through here. So it's kind of like tucked in there. So was able to get that out though, just a little extra clip that I was expecting. So now I'm going to figure out how to one, remove this properly and two how to install it on the pro grill okay so i kind of figured out how this is going to come out just by analyzing it and looking at it we need to remove this phillips screw on this side 
this top one right here and this one on that side. So we're gonna take those off and we should be able to pull this off very easily. Okay, the sensor module is out. Now we gotta get a couple more things. Uh, one, we have to undo this clip right here. And to do that, I gotta take this off right here. I gotta take the badge portion off. So to do that, it looks like there's four clips right here. So there's one here, 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 and here. And there's also a screw holding on the actual cover on the front. So we gotta take those off. And also I need to take these uh, like screw mounts. I need to somehow it looks like they kind of just pry off So I got to pry those off and I think it's also gonna be easier to do that when this badge is off to do it from the other side So that's what I'm looking at doing next I'm gonna flip it over and do that and then we'll move on to showing you how we Install it onto this and how we put the garnish in I've already kind of figured that out as well All right, so that was really easy to do to take that off and also it was really easy to pull out those screws and take the clip out so that right there is it i'm going to put this back in here though just for safe keeping purposes and we can set the stock grill off to the side we do not need that anymore all we need is this sensor right here don't worry about orientation up and down it only mounts in one way so we'll be good to go there but let's move over to our pro grill so first thing that i had to figure out was one how do you get this in to here well, it turns out this piece right here actually is just kind of popped in. There are two retainer clips, one here and one here that we're gonna have to take a screwdriver and kind of pry these off and then it's clipped on. And then this plastic piece will pop out and this piece will pop in. But before we put that in, we'll go ahead and mount our sensor up and then we'll do that. So everything looks to be here and ready to go. All we're gonna do now is just remove this, pop this out, and then we'll move on to putting the sensor in. All right, so I don't know if you guys saw there, but to get these right here off of these back pins, I took some side cutters and I basically just cut them off because we're not gonna be using this anymore. And uh, then I was able to pry it up with a screwdriver. So that's how I took that piece off. And then I went ahead and I slid in the bolt carriages, which are right here for our sensor bracket. And then I went ahead and screwed in our two sides and our top, that's how you know what orientation this is. So. That's all good to go. And also they have a little cutout right here already made for the sensor wire. So that's where that gets relocated to. All good to go there. Now we're going to go ahead and put our garnish up through. As you guys can see, there's clips on the bottom side there. And then we'll have those top pins right there and right there, which they do include the little, I don't know what you call those, lock washer ring push ring things. These things, they include new ones for the garnish as well. So that's what I'm gonna do next, get that all mounted up, and then uh, we'll have to put our Toyota letters into the grill, and we should be able to put that into there and put it back on, should be good to go. All right, so I got the garnish in. It just clipped in on the front. These two back ones, they're just barely clamped on like the first part of it. And I'm not really sure if you can see that, but the this part right here is where those clips are. And it's sucked up in a lot more than the clips. So this is where the it just kind of pops in. Up here is where those like little, these, these things, whatever the hell they're called, the lock washers or whatever, that's where those go. So it's already sucked up in a little bit. I kind of want it out a little bit more, but I don't have any threads to work with. So that's all mounted up. The letters also are all mounted up. That was really easy to do. Do. We'll say this screw down here didn't really line up kind of had to put it in on an angle to get it to go in So not the most uh, High quality piece of work here for this grill, but it works especially when you consider that this cost I think right around 200 and something dollars and the OEM one cost like 800 I think something ridiculous 500 800 it's like double triple the price So that's all done now I'm gonna go ahead grab my surround up there and pop this in one thing I did notice off the get-go though with this one there are no screws to put in with the pro grill it's all clips at least with this version of the pro grill so we're not gonna have to use all of those screws that we use on that grill so a little interesting but I'll pop it all in and I'll see if it all works out and uh, we'll go from there and those are all the clips all the clips 
are put in and you can't even if you wanted to do the screws you can't even do it because there's nothing on the back side for it to actually even screw into so you don't need the eight original screws with this version of the pro grill i'm not sure maybe the oem one has them and that's some way how they're able to make this aftermarket one i don't know one thing i did notice though the sensor wire because it's been relocated down here instead of in the center i actually had to slide this clip right here, I had to slide it up the wire a little bit. It originally was like down here. So I slid it up and then I put it into the original tab that it went into. So now we can take this out to the truck. Here, let me, let me flip it up so real quick so you guys can see. We got our garnish right here for the sensor. And that's definitely one of the things that I'm gonna be concerned about, but we'll move forward with that. Let's go put it on the truck. And that is it, the Toyota Pro Grill aftermarket fully installed on the truck. Let me go ahead and put the hood down. There we go. The mean and aggressive is coming along smoothly. Now, like I mentioned in the all LED video, all that's left is to get rid of all that nasty chrome that we have in the headlights and on the taillights, and that's it. So now before I end this video, I'm actually going to go uh, drive the truck a little bit because like I mentioned, the one concern with doing this is that sensor and making sure that that is all working like it properly should. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go for a little bit of a drive. I actually got some errands to run and I'll update you guys along the way if anything happens, if any concerns happen, let's go do that. All right, all back from doing a little test drive. I actually had some errands to run around, but took it on the highway for a good like 10 miles, ran cruise control the whole time, operated just like normal. Well, remember when I said that the sensor was all good in that? Yeah, I was, I was completely wrong. Just ignore that. So my quick little test um, when I first put this in and I ran about five miles down the highway and it worked perfectly fine, uh, it was wrong. Cause when I actually went for a longer distance, like um, about 20 miles, 15 miles down the road, this thing kicked off an error and said clean the sensor, um, which it, the sensor doesn't really need cleaned. Uh, I actually looked up online what the whole reasoning for that was with the aftermarket pro grills. It's because that sensor that's behind uh, the grill, it's designed for the stock grill. That, that one right there. And for whatever reasoning with the aftermarket grill or just the pro grill in general, the alignment of that sensor with this front glass garnish piece right here has to be exact. So if you're looking at two different panes, um, this is the front of that sensor glass. This is the sensor. Well, the sensor was like this. It was kind of pointing downward. And what we need to do is straighten it back up. And what you have to do is, if you remember, there's three screws. I'll show you here in a second. But on that third screw, you have to put a few washers, or in my case, I found one just about the right thickness to take that sensor and straighten it up. So we have three screws on the sensor. Uh, let me just show you. So let me let me get underneath the hood here. So right here's the sensor. We have a screw on this side right there holding it down, that black one right there. One on this side, this black one right here. And then this top screw right here. This is the screw you need to put a few washers behind to actually space this out and basically turn that sensor so that it is parallel to the flat garnish. And when I was looking up, this actually seems to be the case across the board when doing the pro grill conversion, even doing an OEM one, it seems that that sensor is designed for the stock one that I showed you back there. It's a different garnish and the mounting bracket is a little bit different than this one. So when it when the sensor gets mounted in here, it actually is tilted a little bit downward. So it's pointing more down this direction and we need it to be pointing straight in line with the garnish. So what we have to do with that screw is we need to put a spacer on it so it pushes it back and strains it up. Let me see if I can get a closer view of the washer I actually used. There you guys can see the washer that I exactly used for my application. As you can see, it's a pretty thin washer behind there. There's a good angle. That is the washer that I ended up using. So I originally tried a spacer that was actually like twice that thickness and it still didn't work. And then I used this one that was a little bit in between and uh, it's worked perfectly fine since. I've drove 100 miles now um, and had no issues. Again, with the research that I did, Basically, everyone online said that you basically need to put some sort of washer behind there. It, it depended, a lot of people said, some people said that you could use just one standard washer, like a little metal washer, and it worked. Some people use two, some people use three. I use one that's probably equivalent to about three or four washers, uh, and mine is working so far. So basically, if you get the aftermarket Toyota Pro Grill and put it on your Sport or on your SR5 or on 
your TRD off-road like mine, what you're gonna need to do is basically get yourself some washers and just start adding washers until it ends up working. So it, it depends again, there's between the surface of this, how straight this surface is and your sensor. So you gotta play around and add washers to that third screw there until it ends up working. But once you get it right, you're good to go and um, you get to enjoy having the Toyota Pro Grill on your truck. So anyways, that's the full install. That's what I had to do to get the sensor to finally start working. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to slap a big like on this video as well as don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I just recently ordered new tail lights for this truck. Um, they're dope, super excited for that. So if you wanna see the video, the new tail lights and all the new mods and all the stuff, I'm gonna be making some car washing videos too on how to do like ceramic wax and stuff like that because I used to detail vehicles. I got a lot of stuff coming for this channel. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Taco Rick out, peace. Oh, follow me on Instagram, DJ Rick Webb, peace.